Hey everyone, it's Lori with Farmhouse Stencil Shop. Today I was looking through my building and going through scrap wood and I found these unusual little boards that were already glued together and one was taller than the other so I was like this would be perfect for fireworks. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not but <laughs> I'm going to make something patriotic this time. So what I'm doing is painting one half blue and I did show at the beginning of the video where I pre-drilled holes in the tops and that's going to be for my wicks. Now I'm painting the other side in a colonial red shade. And I am sloppy painting because it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to sand the edges anyways. So I'm going to dry that a little bit. And the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to take a little stencil um, from a set of patriotic stencils that I will have available in the next few days. And I'm just using the stars. And I'm going to stencil on stars randomly on the blue side only. So I'm getting ready to stain over the whole thing, but the, I'm going to sand the edges a little bit more before I do that. And as you can see, I messed up a couple of my stars, so I'm going to go back and fix those and dry them a little bit this time. Now I'm going to stain over the whole thing with early American stain. This just kind of gives it a distressed look, maybe a little bit of antique look, and it takes those bright colors and tones them down a bit. And I'm not painting the back, but I am going to stain over the back of it just to clean it up, make it look better. So I'm gonna dry that a little bit, set it to the side, and I'm going to take some chalk paint and paint a little star. And then I'm going to go back over the star with a little bit of the stain. Now I'm going to take some jute twine and cut little pieces to stick in the tops. For the wicks. And I think that worked out pretty good. Now I'm going to make a bow. So I chose some random fabrics that um, would fit the patriotic theme and also be kind of primitive like some homespun. I had a few that had some stars on them so I thought that would look cute. I'm not the best at making these messy bows but um, <clears throat> I try the best that I can to get them to look right. So I have to mess with it a lot. Cut off edges, trim long pieces, fluff it up, and sometimes it still doesn't look perfect, but I think it looks okay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take some jute and wrap around, <coughs> excuse me, wrap around the whole thing. And this will give me something to be able to tie my bow to. Still trimming edges. I'm 
Now I'm going to take a little piece of cardstock and make a little sign for the front. I normally stencil on wood, but I am going to try the cardstock today. I just kind of ripped it so the edges would look kind of um, torn and rugged like. Now I'm still using a little stencil from that set that I have. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to paint the bridges. Because I am using a stencil and not a stamp, it does have the bridges, so I like to fill those in. I'm going to go back over the edges of the little sign with some kilt wax. Once that I'm done with that, I'm just going to hold it in place with a little bit of hot glue. And that's basically it. I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think. I really appreciate you watching and I like to hear your comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.